at the beginning of the season is if we make our robot light, it'll be a lot easier to hang. So we actually made the entire thing out of plywood. And a lot of people tell us that plywood's like really, really weak. But you can see this dovetail design that we have. It allows us to make it very, very strong supporting it across the entire way. Also, this plywood, and we got these mechanum wheels, which we put custom 3D printed inserts in, so we could put a 3 8 inch hex shaft into them. Um, and then these little things, Sartik, you want to talk about these? So you see, these, we have three of these red wheels right here, and these are odometry encoder wheels. They're free spinning, so this allows us to track the actual motion of the robot. And using their measurements, we can calculate our robot's global x, y, and theta coordinate position. So this means that we can track our robot's location on the field at any time. So in autonomous, we can use this to move to specific coordinates. And if our robot gets hit by another robot or hits, say, the lander, it automatically corrects itself to keep going on that same path as a program before. We also use these in teleop so that when we're collecting minerals, the robot's driving really fast, but it knows when we get to the lander to give the drivers more control. See here our intake is all, we use a CNC and 3D printer in order to fabricate our intake, and we have a pretty simple surgical tubing intake in order to get minerals from the crater into our intake. One thing that our robot prides itself on is the ability to only hold two minerals so that we're never caught getting a third mineral out because if we have a third block, it's just gonna come here and then it'll fall because of that cutout in the Lexan right there. Our, we, were, we were all, we also were able to implement sorting into our intake. So you can see if we tilt our whole, our intake back, the, um, Ethan, you want to come over here? <laughs> we, we have a flap that opens and then the ball, the block slides straight through while the balls will actually ride the flap down to the side. So it's actually really consistent sorting just because that flap is there so that there's no, if the ball is to the left or the right, it still goes at the same speed. You want to talk about the rest of the mineral mechanism? Sure. So our mineral mechanism is actually on these rev linear slides. And it, what's really cool about this is that we don't actually have to have our drivetrain go into the crater. So we're actually able to extend all the way into the back of the crater and pick up blocks and balls. And we also have these cascading slides so that it's really fast. Um, we're also using these winches over here that are 3D printed and they curve inwards so that the string isn't able to come out of it. Um, and we also have this surgical tubing down here so that it's easier for it to get up. All right, that's really cool, guys. Thank you very much, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.